So, Stuart, in a place like uh, the UK where you've already got established rules and, and infrastructures and things like that, what advice do you give companies when they're trying to, to do things that kind of push the limits here regulatorily that, as, as companies innovate? Yeah, I, I mean, it, it sounds like an advantage to have all those structures uh, and uh, systems in place, but in many cases it's actually a disadvantage because they are so well established that they, they can be difficult to change and they can be difficult to, uh, uh, to, to, to migrate in, onto new ways of thinking. Um, so, I mean, the, the big advantage of uh, satellite-based systems and satellite-based applications is their ability to act globally. Uh, and so, you know, what we try, the, the organizations that we try and work with is, the, is we try and help them exploit that big benefit of the, the, that satellite systems have. So we try and help them reach the markets that exist around the rest of the world, which are, you know, by their nature very fragmented. So we try and you know, aggregate demand for different types of services in some ways. Uh, and, uh, you know, we, we, we try and find ways of helping companies um, become more global and more uh, um, international in their outlook right from the start, which can be quite a challenging. The normal paradigm of, uh, of, of any startup business, which is, you know, serve your local market and then export, that just doesn't, really doesn't work in this market. So we need to try and help businesses think in different ways. Uh, so, you know, the other barrier that we have, and, and I think a, a number of other um, uh, sort of developed governments operate in the same way, is that procurement systems are often anti-innovation. So in, in the UK, until very recently, they have just changed it. They used, you, if you were selling a service into a UK government, you had to demonstrate where you had delivered that service somewhere before, so that you had some kind of credibility. Now that's not enabling innovation. So it, it was very good for, you know, for uh, it, uh, overseas companies who had already served their domestic market, but what we had to do with our companies was actually help them find an overseas market before they could then sell into our government, which is a kind of perverse thing to do, but that was what we ended up doing. Fortunately, now the, the, the government policy has changed. But so, uh, you know, an organization like us can help influence policy in those sorts of areas so that you can get a, a more supportive government uh, as an, an innovation enabler rather than a blocker in some of these developed markets.